historic day. What these workers have done here is incredibly brave. You know, I mean, when you think about McDonald's and you think about the role that McDonald's have played in our economy, and you think that in 1974 it was McDonald's that brought the first zero hour contracts into this country. When you realise that in 1983, Margaret Thatcher was opening up their head office in Finchley. At the same time, she was attacking and planning the attacks on the NUM. The symbols of McDonald's represent everything that those people who wanted to see the exploitation of workers to achieve that they needed to attack the NUM and the labour movement. They honestly fought. They honestly fought by destroying the NUM and neutralising trade unions through the TUC's lack of support for the NUM, that they would be able to smash the labour movement in this country. And for quite a number of years now, it's had that appearance that workers were too afraid to organise, that pay has reached such a level now that nurses have to go and use food banks. But today, what you've seen it's history here in Cambridge and over in Crayford and at 12 o'clock this morning by the way when Stephanie walked out which was an incredible sight to see what an incredibly brave young woman and by the way working young woman who's homeless with a four year old child because she can't afford the rent that's a working woman working not out, not out of work as they try and make out that most people who are homeless are, but an in-work person that's homeless, that can't afford a decent home to live in for her and her child. Working full-time on a zero-hours contract, if you can call it full-time, for a company like McDonald's. So let's be clear, this historic position that these workers have taken, and every one of them, every <coughs> one of them should be recognised in the same way that all leaders of labour movements that have started again should be recognised as heroes of our class, heroes of the labour movement, people that will now design the future of a new labour uprising in this country because this is what this strike symbolises. It symbolises the fight back that says, you know, where people believe it's impossible to do anything, these workers said, you know what? It is possible. It's possible to change the lives of people who are left surfing on couches. It's possible to say we won't accept a zero hours contract. It's possible to say I'm entitled to a wage that enables me not just to be able to meet my needs by paying my rent or buying food, but able to be able to secure a birthday party for my child or go on holiday with my family. Because that's what working people should be entitled to. And in the fifth richest economy in the world, every single person in this country deserves a life with dignity. And these people here are making sure that our fight back starts that when we go on to London today and we hear from the Shadow Chancellor, who will soon hopefully be the Chancellor of the Exchequer, they are very, very clear. The working people in this country have had enough. We've had an absolute bellyful of exploited labour. No longer will we allow ourselves to be the foot soldiers for their profit. No longer will we sit back and accept the exploitation of young people, old people, or any of our people. This symbolises the new Labour movement and we must all stand together in support of these brave workers. And if McDonald's attempt in any way whatsoever to discipline one of these, we want to see every single one of you here bringing at least 10 other people and occupying it. Because we're not having our members disciplined. We're not having our members isolated. We're not having our members humiliated, but we accept and we expect everybody to stand with them and make sure that they understand no longer is it tolerable to use workers and exploit them, to victimise them, and we won't accept bullying, harassment of any description whatsoever. Now, McDonald's may not want to talk to us today, but I'll tell you what, they will talk to us because you alongside these brave workers are going to make them talk to us and when we've shown the world that we can organize in mcdonald's
that the trade union movement will recognise we can organise anywhere and everywhere. Solidarity! Yeah.